Hi everyone, my name is Xavier and in this video we will be taking a look at how you can use the facade pattern in TypeScript. This pattern is used to hide a lot of complexity behind a single method. I'll use a home theater system as an example because those can be quite complex to control and set up for a particular use case. So let's take a look at the code. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio Code and I've already created classes for some of the devices in my home theater setup. So I've created a class for Blu-ray player, for an amplifier, some lights, a TV and a popcorn maker. Now let's assume that I want to start watching a movie. Every time I want to watch a movie, I have to do certain things. I have to turn on my Blu-ray player, I have to press play on it. I have to turn on my amplifier, I have to set the volume, I have to set the source of my amplifier. I have to dim the lights, I have to turn my TV on, and I have to turn on the popcorn maker and start popping some popcorn. Now that's a lot of complexity. And it's also not practical if there are multiple places in my code where I want to start watching a movie, because then I would need to copy and paste all these instructions. Instead, what we can do is we can create a facade. This is a class that will hide all the complexity behind a single method. So let's do that right now. I'm going to start by creating a new class and I'm going to call my class home theater facade. And this class will have an attribute for each of the devices that we want to control. So in my case, it's a Blu-ray player, which should be of type Blu-ray player. We should have an amp of type amplifier. We should have some lights. We should have a TV and of course a popcorn maker, which should be of type popcorn maker. Okay, there we go. Now the constructor of the home theater facade will receive all these devices, an instance of all of these devices. So I'm going to repeat some of the code here. There we go. And all what we're going to do in the constructor is we're going to keep track of these devices. So we're going to say this amp equals the amp that we got in the constructor. This Blu-ray equals the Blu-ray that we got in the, this, in the constructor. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready to set up our actual facade. So let's say that there are multiple places in my code where I want to start watching a movie. I want to set up all of my devices to watch a movie. Well, in this case, I'm going to create a method called watch movie. And this method is going to prepare my entire setup for watching a movie. So what we can do is we can ask the popcorn maker to turn on and the popcorn maker should start popping some corn. There we go. We should also dim the lights. We should definitely turn the TV on because otherwise we won't be able to watch our movie. We're gonna also turn on the amplifier and we're gonna set the source of the amplifier to Blu-ray. These are fake methods, by the way. You have to substitute these for your own implementations. And then we're going to set the volume of the amplifier. So in this case, we're going to turn it up to 11. And last but not least, we have to turn on my Blu-ray player. And we're going to have to start playing the movie. Okay, so that's the facade method for when I want to start watching a movie. And I can do the same for when I'm actually done watching a movie. So I can say, well, public end movie. And now we can do some other stuff like we can turn on the popcorn, we can turn off the popcorn maker. We can turn off the amp. And we can turn off the TV. And turn off the Blu-ray. Okay, there we go. So now we've actually placed all of this complex behavior in the setup process. We've placed that behind a single method, a facade if you want. So how do you use it? Well, very simple. You start by creating an instance of each of your devices that your facade needs. So I'm going to start by creating a Blu-ray player, an amplifier, 
some lights. A TV and the popcorn maker. And then we're gonna create a new home theater facade. So I'm gonna call mine home theater. I'm gonna say new home theater facade. This will receive all of the instances that we've just created. So with Blu-ray player, some lights, a TV and the popcorn maker. All right. And now we can call one of the methods in our facade uh, to start watching a movie, for example. Just say watch movie. And the facade will take care of all the complex setup process that is involved in start watching a movie. And the nice thing about this is, is that you can use this single line throughout your code and you can keep all of this setup code centralized in a single class. That is the strength of the facade pattern. The facade pattern is a really simple pattern, really straightforward, but it allows you to keep your code short and to the point and it prevents you from having to retype this entire setup uh, over and over again. Also, the facade pattern is very future proof because if one day you decide to add a device to the mix, then all you have to do is change up these instructions and then it's changed in all the places of your code. So this was a very simple example of how the facade pattern can be implemented in TypeScript. I really hope you liked this video and if you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button or to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. If you want to learn more about design patterns in TypeScript, make sure to check out the rest of these series. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.